So, so the graphic design page is going to be basically the same exact thing um, you are as your photography here. So you want to make sure um, that you uh, you give it a gallery. So you have a gallery view of all the things that you've designed for this particular class. Um, and then you can change any kind of layout you want by just going under add and then go under gallery and then you choose what gallery speaks best to you. And you can always go back and change it. You can alter it once you already have selected a gallery. So if you wanted to change it, you can go under settings and it'll give you uh, the options to lay out there. Um, and you can change whatever you want with a layout, but you can change almost everything in it, like from the text that pops up and the uh, what that text looks like, what the buttons, the color of the buttons are. Um, you can add custom buttons to it. Um, item style, navigational arrows, if you want them or not on here. Animation, what the slides will do. So you can do it as they'll scroll or that they fade in or that they, you know, stack up one next to each other. It, that's all up to you. You can change whatever you want with that. So then again, once you're done adding like you would with your photography, adding those pictures and refer to the photography slide or the photography video if, if you don't you know if you're coming to this one first. But, you know, these will all start to um, this comes up here and then it should give information on here. And then I can just start a slideshow with all of the the images um, that I created uh, over the years for um, for various projects. OK, so and you can change this to any way you want. But when you're done, go back to editor so you can continue to edit.